morning, I'm Wesley McDuffie, and welcome to this edition of your New Shiloh News. It's the first Sunday in November, and the holiday countdown has begun. During this holiday season, New Shiloh is striving to be a blessing to those in need. We are doing so by sharing in the heart of a child whose parents is incarcerated or is being raised by a grandparent or guardian. You can help by selecting a name from the angel tree located in the lobby. The best is yet to come to you for your good works. Now for the rest of the November calendar, Thanksgiving Day worship service will take place here at 8 a.m. with Reverend Arthur Jackson III and the members of the Antioch Baptist Church of Kara City. November also has five Sundays, and that means it's time to come together for our last family day of the year. Our theme for that day will be sports. All members are encouraged to wear your favorite sports apparel and represent your team. So while you are inviting your friends and family for Thanksgiving dinner, remind them to pack their sports attire and invite them to come up to Shiloh and worship with us. Remember, our one service for that day begins at 9.30 a.m. We are also celebrating Family Day by hosting our second family game night. Due to the Thanksgiving Day weekend, we are moving the date to Saturday, November 21st from 6 to 9 p.m. Once again, this night will be filled with fun for the entire family. We will also play games such as Taboo, Scattergory, Spades, Pyramid, and many other board games, just to name a few. We will once again end the night by playing Family Feud. So if you missed the last one, you certainly don't want to miss this one. So mark your calendars and make sure your face is in the place. Now for our travel report. This Friday, November the 6th at 7.30 p.m., we will be traveling to the Second Baptist Church for Reverend Alfonso Jackson's pastoral anniversary. The mass choir and mass ushers are asked to serve. The bus will leave at 6.30 p.m. On Sunday, November the 15th at 4 p.m., we will be traveling to the True Vine Baptist Church for Reverend Charles Mitchell's pastoral anniversary. The choir praise and usher ministry number one are asked to serve. Calling all men. Men's Bible study will take place this Saturday at 8.30 a.m. in the Fellowship Hall. Breakfast will be served. We close this newscast with this health report. Did you know that November is Pancreatic Cancer Awareness Month? Here are some simple facts you need to know. Pancreatic cancer is the most lethal form of cancer. 75% of pancreatic patients die within the first year of their diagnosis, and only 5% survive more than five years. In 2009, nearly 42,470 Americans will be diagnosed with pancreatic cancer and approximately 35,240 will die. The incidence rate among African Americans is approximately 50% higher than other ethnic groups. Men are 20% more likely to get pancreatic cancer than women and the majority of cases occur in people over the age of 65. Finally, there are no early detection methods. These facts were provided by the Barbara White Foundation Incorporated. For more information about this form of cancer or how you can support this foundation, please contact Sarita White at 305-396-3906 or visit the website at www.barbarawhitefoundation.org. Well, that's all the news we have for you this week. Don't forget to pray and visit the sick and shut-in found in your weekly programs. Join us for noonday prayer every Tuesday, followed by Bible study at 7 p.m. You may listen to A Moment in the Word with Pastor D.L. Powell every Sunday at 7 a.m. on Gospel AM 1490 WMBM. This has been another edition of your New Shiloh News. I'm Wesley McDuffie. Until we meet again, continue to have a faithful and fruitful week.